For these lessons, I will be using FlexColor 3.5 and Apple OS 10. With the holder in the scanner, we can begin. First, we need to choose some overall settings. Open the frame menu and select a frame that matches your holder. Displayed is a partial list of frame sizes. The list can be modified by selecting Customize from the menu. There are 17 holders for different film sizes and configurations. In addition, you can order custom size holders. For this example, I will select a medium format frame size. If your scanner supports auto frame recognition, you will have a button next to the frame menu. Highlighting this button turns on auto frame recognition, which automatically detects the appropriate frame size of your holder. This is an important feature to activate when using the optional batch feeder attachment available on the 848 scanner. From the mode menu, select a color space in which to work. RGB saves your image as standard 8-bit TIFF files. RGB 16-bit creates 16-bit TIFF files. This saves your images with over 65,000 possible shade values per channel versus 256 shade values in standard 8-bit mode. For archival purposes, scanning 16-bit preserves the full tonality of your image. If you plan to make heavy tonal adjustments in Photoshop, you may wish to scan in 16-bit mode. Anytime you make a tonal adjustment in Photoshop, you will incur some data loss, and once it's gone, you'll never get it back. Scanning 16-bit will give you more editing headroom before you run into possible posterization in your image. Keep in mind when you do scan 16-bit, it doubles your file size and some Photoshop functions will not operate on 16-bit files. You can also scan in grayscale, grayscale 16-bit, line art, and CMYK. CMYK is grayed out because the RGB standard setup is selected. Displayed is a partial list of setups. These setups are designed for different types of images and different types of negative films. Select a setup that best matches your type of image or film. We have characterized over 100 popular types of negative films. A partial list of negative films is displayed by default. The entire list is automatically loaded on your computer during installation and can be added to the list. Scanning negatives can be challenging. However, the library of negative setups greatly simplifies the process. For this image, I will use RGB standard, which works on most color transparencies. To begin the scanning process, select Preview. The Preview command can also be activated by selecting F9 or Command N on Mac or Control N in Windows. This will draw the holder into the scanner and a preview is quickly displayed on your monitor. You will be making tonal corrections based on how your monitor displays color. Having a monitor that is calibrated on a regular basis is very important. I strongly encourage you to invest in a calibrated monitor system. By default, your cursor is in the crop mode. Crop your image as desired. At this point, be sure to crop inside the image area. Do not extend the crop outside the film frame or outside the frame holder. If you do, the auto function will see the black of your holder or film frame as the darkest point in the image and produce undesirable results. After you have made your tonal corrections, you can move the crop outside the image. Next, select the auto button. All the parameters associated with this setup, in this case, RGB standard are applied, resulting in a near perfect image with a single button. To create a final scan, simply select Scan, hit Assign a File Name, select Save, and your holder will be drawn into the scanner and begin scanning. Let's take a closer look at the Auto function. The Auto function is more powerful and flexible than typical Auto features. There are over 80 different setup adjustments under your control with this single selection. The auto feature can be customized and fine-tuned to your specifications. Some of the features under your control are setting highlight and shadow points, contrast and brightness, curve adjustments, and applying unsharp mask. The auto function allows you to apply most flex color features in an automated and repeatable manner. 
If you are looking for ways to increase your productivity, be sure to utilize this feature. As you can see, with the power of the setups supplied with your scanner and a library of custom setups you create, FlexColor makes scanning fast and simple. Through the use of the auto feature, 90% or more of the work is finished with a single selection. In other lessons, we will cover the tools under your control with the auto feature. Now that we have seen the power behind the setups supplied with FlexColor, let me show you how to create your own custom setup and explain some additional functions found in the setup window. From the file menu, select setup. Up pops a window with some familiar looking tabs. Our current setup is RGB standard. When the auto command is selected from the main window, all the settings associated with RGB standard are applied to the image. To create a custom setup, select New, enter in a name, select Create. Any changes will be stored under the new setup. Now let's go through each tab and customize this setup. You can define which mode you wish to work in, a default frame size, your film type, your optimization, a default resolution and zoom percentage. D-Screen is used when scanning offset printed originals. It minimizes the appearance of rosette patterns found in offset printed material by defocusing the image. Adaptive light will increase the exposure time. On older scanners, this will increase the light intensity. This may be useful on extremely dark originals. Mirror allows you to mirror your images automatically. Enhanced shadow detail, the scanner will automatically use this feature if your scanner benefits from enhanced shadow detail. Leave this at its default. You can select if you wish to work in centimeters or inches. For this setup, I will choose inches. The next tab is contrast. Here we can set our contrast controls. In addition, any curve adjustments will be saved. The Texture tab controls our Unsharp Mask and Flex Touch settings. Under Color Percentage, we control the distribution of the sharpened information back into RGB. Sharpening is only applied to the luminance information. As the data is converted back to RGB, you control how much of that information is distributed to individual color channels. If you have an overly noisy channel, you may wish to restrict the amount of sharpening information in that channel. Here is a selective color correction tool laid out in a different format. Auto controls how FlexColor computes what it thinks the highlight and shadow values should be based on your histogram of your image. When you use the Auto button, it modifies the values of the percentages you set here to find the final setting. The percentage is applied to the difference between the highlight and shadow settings. For example, if the values of the Auto percentage are set to zero, then selecting Auto will set the highlight and shadow point at the darkest and lightest point in the image. If you set the percentage to a negative value, this will cause the automatic controls to use a less extreme setting for highlight and shadow. You can also turn the cast correction on or off. Under Dot, you control the output values. Endpoint determines what happens to the input values that exceed the defined limit. See your manual for a detailed description. For most applications, use the default forward slash setting. The Color Sync tab controls how your ICC profiles are applied. Under Input, select the profile that matches your scanner. When scanning negatives, select FlexTight Input. The setup supplied with your scanner will automatically choose the appropriate input profile. Under RGB, select the same RGB color space you are using in Photoshop. Select an appropriate CMYK profile if you plan to scan in CMYK. Always check the embed box. This embeds the scanner or input profile and will correctly translate the way in which your scanner sees color. Convert, as the name implies, will automatically convert from the input profile to the RGB profile. Softproof works only when scanning CMYK. This will simulate what your image will look like on your selected output device. 
This feature combines the ICC profile of your monitor with the input profile of your scanner and your selected CMYK output profile in FlexColor. Once you have completed your adjustments, select Save. Our custom setup is shown and ready to be used. All the settings saved with our new setup can be applied simply by selecting the Auto button.